Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Dev Chanel's For Ace World where we do another recap review um, of the Michelle My Life episode uh, review and recap. We're going to be talking about season 3 episode 5 You Should Be Me is the title I guess of the show. It was kind of lackluster today and I was like okay Okay, Michelle is feeling herself. So let's jump right on into it. We have, or we are recapping off from last episode, but her friend is going off on her about fucking her two days ago, but she wants to still be in a relationship with Dr. Sims. So I'm like, okay, way back when Kay wasn't considering herself a bisexual or a lesbian, anything like that. She was straight heterosexual. But then when she started having like little scenes with uh, Jocelyn Hernandez on Love and Hip Hop, we started seeing another little frisky lesbian tease side to her. Okay, so we knew they got down with each other. All right, but and now just bringing it all to the forefront now that and she has admitted it on this show, uh, this particular episode, that she's gonna always uh, have women snacking on her punana. So we know she gets down both ways. She ain't really considering herself. One or the other, I guess she considered herself bisexual. She liked both. So, and I find that very odd because I'm like, if you're going to be getting married and you're very well into this heterosexual man, I'm guessing, or he might be by my, you know, he might be bisexual himself. Are you going to have an open relationship in your marriage? Y'all going to be swingers or what? Because I'm like, I'm pretty sure he's not going to be letting you snack on snack cake with other women. When you're out and about having fun, just that and third, and, and just make like it ain't nothing. Because you're actually kind of acting like a male when they want to have their main chick, um, giving them, bossing them, and, and, you know, flaunting them and, you know, making them their showpiece stopper. And then they're going to have, have a mistress on the side that they get down with, probably share their most deepest secrets with because they know they'll ride or die chick. So I'm like, are you trying to play the man role? With this Mr. Sims, because he is giving me a fem a feminine uh, a fem feminine type of keys. You know, it's like he's more so the laid back homebody, uh, will be taught to any kind of way, man. I mean a henpeck man, and you're supposed to be the one in charge, the boss saying this, that, and the third, because that's what I'm getting. Y'all roles have reversed in a sense. But anyway, neither here nor there. That was just me on my pot. Okay, then we have K. Michelle is telling Jonathan and her sister about her friend, Melicia, going off on her about their relationship and the relationship she's trying to have with Dr. Sims for longevity. And, of course, they're having some kind of way. And I'm like, wait a minute. Why is K. Michelle's sister up in the episode? She's going to get a check from K. too to have a storyline? And why is she even discussing something that really had nothing to do with her? Okay, and then we have Jonathan putting his two cents in, which he need to be negative two cents because we don't really need him to be talking about it. Because I'm like, okay, first of all, evidently K. in this particular ep episode that she's talking with you all at the restaurant about, she didn't tell you that she had sex with the girls. You don't know because you weren't there or what all was said in that bedroom type of romance that was going on between the two women. So, Jonathan, you really do need to follow the fuck back, okay, on that issue anyway. Because uh, that's just bedroom talk going on, and you weren't privy to hear any of the conversation what Mich uh, K. Michelle was telling this young lady, Militia, okay? So then we go to John. John is saying, K. Michelle's friend is not her friend. She just wants a combo. But in this same little scenario, you go to confess that you don't want to be a makeup artist no more. You want to be a little bit more. You want to be out the Kate. I told you she done got a record deal where she can, uh, or her own record label where she can start um, signing up artists under her label, under her name and getting a check for it. Now you want to be her consultant artist or her stylist for her uh, new acts that she may have coming in because she got to sign three uh, groups or an uh, individual solo person to the record label each year. So, of course, that's not hard to do. Not when you can go around and find talent all day, every day in Atlanta, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? Or anywhere in the South, pretty much. But anyway, it's just like, you know, I'm like, okay, now, all right, you are her ace boon coon. You travels with her because she pretty much bought your whole lifestyle when it comes to you being her right-hand person and you always there to kind of consult her on what to dress, but actually get her makeup, 
you know, fierce every time she walked out the door. And I saw her little face. She kind of was surprised. She's she doing like, oh, you're trying to get more in my pockets, pretty much. I'm like, yeah, pretty much he is, Kay. He is. But yeah, he going to tell you that your sex partner that you just had sex with two days ago is trying to make a come up. Girl, you better watch who's in your inner circle as well as you're trying to watch out for the people that you're trying to bring and put back on in your past. Okay, because it seems to me Jonathan is acting like a little snake running around now too and want to keep you all to himself and make nice with all the people that you, you know, really, really, really care about, many of your family members. Because he'll, he'll get, you see how he did P. London. And that was just a misunderstanding, okay? But you're trying to make like all these girls are stupid and you're the smartest one out of all of your girl group. That you grew up with. And that's just not a good look, Kate. Not a good look. Don't get played by somebody who probably know the game better than you. And I'm talking about Jonathan. Okay? Because you got a little estrogen going on and a little testosterone. Okay? Anyway, moving on from there. We go to commercial. We come back. Kay Michelle is taste testing at her restaurant with her favorite chef that she hired to pretty much get all her signature dishes on point. And, of course, you know, everything's going to be lovely because... She ain't going to say it was full of shit on TV because nobody would want to come. So hopefully, maybe I and my daughter will go and visit her uh, lounge one day and I can really come back and dish the tea. Okay. Anyway, move on from there. We got Jonathan and K. Michelle are having lunch. And K. Michelle tells Jonathan she has a chance to sign artists. She has a record label. And that's what I was telling y'all about. She has this new venture she got going on. And Jonathan done inserted himself into her uh newfound uh, resource of income, okay? So Jonathan K. Michelle and, and Blush are looking at Blush's talent girl. She's going out to some performance that um one of her friends back in the past that she, you know, liked the love or whatever they hung out. And she has a, she's been like a manager for these uh, country girls. And they're kind of like very, you know, to me, they're not vocally strong, but they can be. And Jonathan already said, oh, I, I can, mm-hmm, the before and after loop, I can get it with these girls and stuff like that. So he's trying to promote himself when they ain't even been solidified yet. Okay, she ain't even got her first act yet. And Kay look like she's going to be very particular who she signed on her label because she's saying it represents me and what I bring to the table and the character that I'm trying to bring them far as new acts. So I'm like, Kay, please, sit your ass down. You just get anybody who got some good vocals and anybody can be learned to dance unless they just got two left feet. And, you know, it just is what it is. But those girls are just like very soft with their singing and really don't have any um, dance ability. But like I said, that can be fixed on. The makeup, the, the styling, the how you want them to be presented whenever they get it together. It's cool. Don't miss out on something that you could capitalize on because they weren't that bad vocally. Um, but like I said, I don't think she's really wanting them at the time. She wants them to go more into developing themselves. And then when they come back, they better be on point with everything. That means like their styling, their uh, stage presentation, as well as their vocals. But like I said, they, the girls kind of feeling a little bit too shy. shy. Their vocals weren't really on. They were like weak vocals, but you could tell if they keep working, 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 they'll come stronger. So, you know, yeah, it was just kind of like a bus. They could have kept that scene out. Go to commercial, we come back. We got Malicia. Malicia is going off on K. Michelle again with Jonathan being present this time. And she goes on and tells Jonathan in front of K, hell, they just had sex. I was just eating on her pussy two days ago. And now she's like, oh, she got to marry this man. And she was telling me all this in bed about how I got it going on and how we going to always keep our relationship tight. And, you know, we always going to be in a relationship. Now, Kay trying to flip the table saying she didn't say all that. She said she, you know, she going to always tell her little uh, friends that want to snack on her cake, I mean, her banana, her pussy, you know, her vagina, anytime she wants to, and Dr. Sims ain't going to have nothing to do with it, because that's just what she likes. So she's going to have her cake and eat it, too, is pretty much what she was telling Jonathan and Militia. And Militia was like, you know, that ain't right. And that's when Jonathan should have fell all the fuck back and got on his friend, if he's really a friend, and tell her, well, you know, Kate, you ain't got no business snacking on nobody, cootie cat. If you really are serious with this man, it's called a monogamous relationship. That's when Jonathan should have been putting his friend in check. But we see Jonathan is more of a fair weather friend. And he's not trying to keep his chick 
in check. You know what I'm saying? Like, keep her humble. Keep her grounded. Let her know her behavior is just not warranted. You know, if you're going to be with this man, you say you love him. Yeah, you're right. You should not be snacking on her punana, okay? And you shouldn't be letting her snack on yours. And you shouldn't even be talking about having this on TV. This evidence. This man can look at this video way back before y'all get married. Like, well, you didn't tell me you were still snacking on women's cakes. You know what I'm saying? They vaginas. But what if I go snack on some men's dicks or get poked in the ass? Are you going to be okay with that? Or what if I want to have a menage a trois? You know, with this girl, you saying that you can't leave alone and you just had sex with her two days ago. Can she be in our trio? Or can we make a trio? Then how you going to feel about that, Kay? How you going to feel about that? So I'm like, this almost like the pot calling the kettle black. And I really need Jonathan to sit his ass back because he's not acting like no true friend to set his friend. And he said he loves, he honors, he respects more than, I guess, his life, his life or more than life itself. He really need to get check, uh, K in check up, just like he tried to call himself checking P. London. But of course, P. London wasn't signing his paychecks either. So, but I'm like, if you're going to be a friend and an other friend and you're working for that friend, then be a true friend. Call a spade a spade. And right now, uh, Kevin Shell's acting just like an ass, a no good ass woman. Just like she don't had no good ass men in the past. You know what I'm saying? Dog and her, she should know how it feels and wouldn't want to um, impose that on anybody else. But y'all, that was my spiel of the K. Michelle show. Um, I pretty much told y'all the season because I don't told my notes. But anyway, it is what it is. It'll be in the um, day. It'll be in the um, section where. When y'all tune on to the video, I have it up there. But right now, like I said, I don't total shit up. I don't even know where it's at. Okay, I found it. Season 3, Episode 5. And like I said, I don't forgot what the total was. You want to be me or something like that shit. But it don't matter. You just wanted the content and my visual and my uh, commentary, right? So y'all got it. Uh, but anyway, y'all love, peace, and blessings. And we'll see y'all on the next K. Michelle show. It's my life. Bye-bye. Or my life by K. Michelle. <laughs>